The new compact tools that I'm gonna show you in today's video inspired this number one song that's the most downloaded in United States history, possibly the world. Flex! When I put these in my hand, they feel awesome! Flex! Even though they are smaller, I feel like a man! Flex! Flex. Impact and drill has lots of power! Flex! They're so compact, I can use them for hours! That hot ham song is real nice. It was written after these. These are brand new compact tools from Flex. We're gonna use and abuse. We're gonna slice and dice. We're gonna put these things to the test. We're gonna see what they can and maybe can't do. We're gonna start it out with the regular drill. Then we're gonna move it over to the hammer drill and then we're gonna move it over to the impact driver. Let's do this. All right, let's throw some of these Flex auger bits in the drill first. This is the 5 8 and check out that, that spiral tip on the end. That's, uh, that's pretty real nice. -like. And FYI, in today's testing, we're using the 2.5 AHs because that's what's coming with the drills and the impacts of compacts are smaller anyway. If you buy it in the kit, that's what you're gonna get. Just rhymed unintentionally. All right, compact drill. We're just gonna put that bad boy in there, tighten this chuck down. We're gonna throw on our 2.5. So up on the top here is analog. There's no digital on the bottom of this. So fast, slow. In total, you got 18 different clutch positions, including that drill. All right, we're gonna start it out on low, then we're gonna move it to the high. This really shouldn't have any issues going down through this, so let's just try it out. Three, two, one. I'm not gonna push, I'm just gonna let this go. Man, that is real nice like indeed. Let's do it again. And again, I'm not pushing in. Three, two, one. And then maybe a little push in the end. You gotta push it in the end a little bit. Three, two, one. Oh my, that is a smooth operator. That is a smooth operator. All right, let's kick this bad boy up to two. We'll go high. Three, two, one. A little bit of a push at the end. Wow, that thing is so quick. Oh my. You know, most bits, they are sharp, but this is extremely sharp. They're like blades on the end of this thing, man. These are really freaking nice. Nice cutting head up on the beginning right there. Let's do the one inch. Three, two, one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, That's pretty real nice. Let's go one on slow. I like these bits a lot. So now we're gonna test the one and a half inch speed demon from DA Blow. How do you know this is a genuine DA Blow blade? Well, listen, DA Blow. Now, because these things are larger, this might stop on speed two. We're gonna try it out on speed one first, and then we'll move it up to speed two, see what it does. Here we go. This is, yeah, speed one. Should go right through. Three, two, one. That's real nice. All right, so let's go speed two. And to be honest, I think this is probably just gonna stop because they mostly do um, on speed two. You got a lot more torque on speed one, but let's see what it does. Three, two, one. Yeah. So just like I figured, speed one, no issue right through. So if you're doing HVAC plumbing, you're running pipes down through joists, no issue on speed one, definitely smaller, more compact on speed two. It's just like every other drill. It's just faster. So if you're using regular drill bits, then this is gonna work perfect. But if you're using something larger, just go on speed one. It's gonna be real nice. -like. So next up, we have the hammer drill. We're gonna go through cinder block and some concrete. So let's see how this does. So why are we testing this out on cinder block first? Well, why wouldn't we? If you're refinishing your basement, you need to tie studs in. Well, you're going into something like this. Yeah, let's build those walls. Here, I'll just let you look and see what the chuck has to offer. So analog again, two different positions. We're gonna go on slow first. It's not gonna do anything. Anytime you're on slow, you're just really wasting your time. It doesn't matter what brand you are. Let's try it though, three, two, one. This is the regular drill. Ooh. And let's move this over now to the hammer drill on slow. I hate when I 
slam these things. All right, let's go on speed two. Three, two, one. I'm just gonna let the, the drill bit do the work. Wow. That was pretty impressive. Let's do it again. Okay, that's a lot faster than I thought it would be. That is legit. Hmm, that's pretty real nasty like if you ask me. Let's do it from the side here. Hmm. Yes, indeed. Through center block, that's pretty freaking impressive. I was not expecting it to be that quick. And again, with all the flex tools, they do a really good job limiting that vibration in the hands. It, it, they really do feel good. It's pretty impressive. Let's move it over to the concretus. I mixed this myself. This is as strong as the Roman concretus. All right, let's find one no holes. All right, let's go, uh, we'll just go on high. I'm gonna push down a little bit. Three, two, one. Wow. That is not bad at all. Let's do it again. Now, if you were to put this up against its big brother, and this right here is probably the fastest, most powerful hammer drill on the market today, bar none. This thing is an absolute monster. You can definitely see there's a weight and size comparison. So much lighter on this hand here. And just all around smaller when it comes to the size. I don't know how well it picks up on the camera, but the size comparison between this here, the thickness, the girth, the length, the height. I really don't think the camera does it justice, but it is definitely smaller, definitely more compact. And let's take a look at one more compact tool that they just came out with, the new impact driver. This is your basic regular flex impact, so definitely bigger, heavier. Unlike the drills, this is actual digital. Has a few different modes right here. So you simply hit this button and it'll select through. And again, for size comparison, you need to get in those tighter areas. Well, this is a big difference. Much, much smaller with the compact compared to your regular. And yeah, instead of the LED lights being down on the bottom, they're up on the top now. So Flex did come out with a lot of different accessories for basically everything you need. However, for today's test, we'll be using the world's most famous 3 by 6 with no pilot holes. Now, unlike the Big Brother, you don't get anything fancy for to call it like this release button here, which this, this thing is awesome. However, this is super simple to use and it's all metal. All right, let's start it out with some standard outdoor construction grade screws. We're gonna go on mode one. Mode one. Let's move it up to mode two, just by hitting that button right there. Mode two. Now I will take these all out and put them back in the box because I'm extremely cheap. So this is what we're really thinking. How does this compare to this bad boy? And of course, for this test, I went out and bought a brand new tree to six by six with no pilot holes. And it only cost me $1,800. Eh, thanks a lot, inflation. So on the right side, you'll have me. Oh, would you shut up? You talk what? too much. It's too early, just shut up. And on that side, you'll have the evil twin. The Evil Twin will be running the full-size impact driver from Flex, and I will be using the new Compact. Now, I do want to let you know one thing. I already know which one's going to win. It's going to be the full-size, obviously. But I just want to see... Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut I just want to see Shut up. if this can compete Shut up. somewhat. It'll give us an idea of the power. We'll be using brand new stainless steel half-inch lag screws, and we'll be using the new Flex well, their impact sockets. All right, here we go. I Three, hate doing two, this. one, go. Wow. 
So even though that the compact was able to drive that lag down, you can clearly see that the other larger one has way more power. And to be honest with you, you have to stop talking. I was happy that was able to drive that down. So even though, of course, not as powerful as the larger big brothers or big sisters, whatever, you can definitely see that they size these things down. So if you're in those tighter areas, they're super light and powerful for the size of these things. Good on Flex for allowing them to bring these sizes down and offering smaller tools in the market. But of course, I wanna know what you think. Leave me that sweet, sweet comment in the comment section below. Are you interested in these compact tools? What do you like about them? What don't you like about them? I think my only issue is that there's no turbo on any of them. You always add the turbo. Other than that, they're real nice like. Now, if you wanna see more of these Flex tools in action, Check out these videos right here. And YouTube ain't gonna share this video out, so if you could smash this like button, get subscribed, hit the bell notification, share it with your friends. Greatly appreciate that. Matter of fact, that'd be real nice. Back with more videos soon.